think it's going. We'll see. It hasn't said start for me yet. Oh yeah, there it is. Hey everybody. Hi guys. It is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And I'm so excited to bring this series to you guys. I am bringing you a series of videos. This is the first in the series about how to move as a reseller. I, my husband recently got a job, so we'll be relocating from Houston to Austin, which is about a three hour drive. And I had to decide what to do about my reselling business because if you are like me and you are selling on eBay and Etsy and maybe some other places, Poshmark, Mercari, then you've got a lot of stuff. And many of us, one, have a ton of things listed or we've got a ton of things unlisted. Either way, we tend to have a lot of stuff and it's just, it comes with the territory. So I have got to decide what I'm going to do. I've got over 500 items in my eBay, my Etsy, and then that's just what's listed. And then I've also got a ton of stuff that is not listed. So the not listed stuff is coming later. The listed stuff is what we're going to talk about right now and what my first steps have already been and what my next step is going to be for dealing with this. So I am live. So if you're here, um, you can or later you can check out the chat. I think it's over there. Um, if you're watching on the phone, it'll be down below. Um, but before I get started, and you, if you're new here, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. My channel is all about building knowledge so you can create more opportunities for yourself. If you've been here a while, you're like, that's a new tagline. I just, I was trying to look for something that kind of encompasses everything I do. And, and really what I try to do is learn about new things so that we can make more money. So if you are interested in learning about new things to help your business, to help yourself, then go down there and hit that subscribe button and join along. All right, so let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you both my eBay and my Etsy stores. And my first step was to run a sale and I ran a huge, huge sale. Um, both in my eBay and my Etsy stores, I put things on 50% off because I figured if it doesn't sell at 50% off, is it going to sell or is it going to sell anytime soon? Uh, so I went through my shops and I put those on, it's been about two weeks. So I was going to put that 50% off sale on for about a month and I figure if it doesn't sell at 50% off in a month, then it's gonna go. And I'm already kind of chomping at the bits, like it hasn't sold yet, it's time to go. So let me show you real fast. I'm, this isn't gonna be a, an in-depth walkthrough on how to run a sale, but I'll just show you where to find it if you're like, I don't even know where to look for, for creating a sale. So here's my Etsy, or my eBay, let's start there. So here's my eBay, and when you go to my eBay, um, you'll see up here marketing, and you'll click on marketing and come down to, I think it's promotions, but on the, on the side over here, you can see, um, markdown is what you want. So you wanna do, what's this old? But that's where you're gonna come through and create a sale, because I think that's the old way they did it. I'm comfortable with that, because I remember how to do it, but I think you can do it through promotions as well. So I came over and I created a sale 50% off, you know, here you can create your sale and you can choose like what your percentage off is going to be or, and then choose the items in your store. I didn't put my jewelry on half off. I did everything else, like all, all my other hard goods, but jewelry I did not. So that's how you run a sale. Just real quick rundown of it. I won't go through the whole process. And then on Etsy, if you're also selling on Etsy, uh, let me get over to where that is. So you're going to come to your, I'm gonna have to spread this out a little bit so you can see the side, there we go. Um, so over here on the side where it says marketing, you'll see something here where it says sales and coupons. So I've got coupon codes that I put on my mailers and then here you can see where I created big sale, you know, 50% off and you can choose the shop sections in there. So you're not going through like item by item, but you can select the whole like all of my purses, all of my plush, all of my this and that, right? So that's what I did first. So, so far, you know, I've made a few sales, but not as many as I would have thought, and that's okay. Um, I haven't been listing because that's just a little bit of added stress that I don't need right now. So I'm, you know, just giving myself that break, not listing, putting things on sale, and then um, my next step is that I'm going to be looking at the stats. Um, before I go on, let me look in the chat real quick so I can say hey 
to some people. The house hunting is going well. I've, I've got my eyes on a couple areas that I think are going to be good for us um, because, you know, we homeschool, so we need some space. And my mom is kind of, she's not totally freaking out that we're moving, but she's a little bit freaking out because we live a mile away. And I'm the daughter that every, the rest of the family was like, I'm the one taking care of the parents, right? So there's that. Um, Connie says, decluttering my house and I'm not even moving. Yes. Coffee break. Pardon me. Okay, so, yeah. Um, my next step is to look at my stats. And I'm going to start gutting my inventory. Now, this is something that I'm choosing to do. I know it's not what everybody would choose to do, but I just don't want to move it. I don't want to move it. And so these are the things that are already listed. And I want to take a look at objectively, object, subjectively, object, I want to take a look at it. <laughs> We're not going to get into semantics right now. Um, I, I want to take a look at everything and just not get attached to what it is and how much I might be able to get for it. But I want to look at it as if how long has it been listed? How many fees have I paid on it? Is it going to be bulky or breakable to move? If it is, then it's just, I'm going to have to let it go. It's been up there forever. I have to let it go. So let me show you how to find those stats on Etsy and on eBay. So if you're an Etsy seller, you'll come over to your Etsy dashboard and go to listings. And it'll pull up all your listings. Um, I want to make sure I have it clicked on active. And then there's a little toggle right here that says stats. You can't see where I'm pointing, but you, it's a, it's there. <laughs> it's right next to that books where it says right here in these books. Anyway, so it's here. I'll click it so you can see it turns orange. So that pulls up the stats under your items. So I can see under these items that it has like this hat's got 12 visits and I've renewed it three times. So what that means on Etsy is you get 20 cents for renewals and when you renew an item it's up for four months. So three times four is 12 which means that it's been up for a year. So this hat I've list relisted three times. So that's 60 cents. So yeah, no, it's no big deal. If I was staying here, okay, probably I'd just leave it. 60 cents, whatever. Um, but I do I want to move that. Now it gets scarier the further down I go. Now 60 cents on an item that's like 10 bucks, yeah, that's gonna go. That's gonna go. It's been visited three times in the last 30 days. I've renewed it, but why, wait, wait till you see some of these. Like some of them have, have been renewed like eight times. So like this one's had four visits, one favorite, renewed two times, it's jewelry, it's gonna stay. Um, but there were a few, now I don't know that if there's a way to sort them, like here. This little um, demi toss cup, this purple one, it's had six visits in the last 30 days, two favorites, which is nice. It's about 20 bucks, but y'all, I have renewed this thing 11 times. That means 11 times four, because it's four months, 44 months. This thing has been up almost two years. So it's cute, it's nice, but it's going to go. So this is how I'm going to go through my Etsy shop and take a look at like this. I love selling these kits, but this one has been up for six times four is 24. It's been up two years. Ah, they mean to click it. So I think it's time for me to redonate it and let somebody else enjoy it. <laughs> you know, um, some of them sell way quicker than others. And I know my, for myself, I pick them up because I like to pick them up. You know, here's this little vintage recipe book. It's been uh, up. I've renewed it 10 times. So that means 40 months. 40 months. Let me just let that sink in. Okay. So it, <laughs> it's on the right journey. So it's four years. Yeah, it's time, right? I mean, I know I'm a lifey and I just list it and forget it, but it's, yeah, it's time. And I think this would be good to do even if you weren't moving just every now and then go through and like take a hard look at your stuff and say to yourself, do I want to keep paying fees on this? Um, maybe not. So that is where I am with that. So let me show you how I'm doing this on eBay because I know a lot of you guys sell on eBay and not on Etsy and that's cool. It's cool by me. So you go to your orders, not your orders, duh. You go to your listings. So I'm looking at my listings and these are my active listings. I have 622 listings on eBay. Um, so you'll come over to this 
where it's got all the categories, all formats, all listing stat, uh, states. And you're going to come down here, and, and there's a, is it not pulling that up for you? I have it highlighted. But it, you're going to go down where it says without recent sale, where it says all listing states. Um, if you do that drop down, I don't see it showing up on there for you. Um, the last thing says without a recent sale. So you see here it changes it. Um, and I click search. And so it's going to show all of the listings that have not sold in 16 months. And they'll say, oh, please consider updating this. So I'll go through here. Now, it doesn't necessarily tell me when I listed it. It might somewhere, but um, this is just a quick rundown for me to take a look. Well, jewelry, I'm just going to leave it for now, you know, because that's easy. But there are a lot of things that are especially breakables, mugs, you know, some of them that haven't sold. Even some of these things that are little that I was just like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's different. That's neat. I'm going to list it. Mm, now it's like, nope, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. So yeah, i uh, got some really cool thimbles, and I know they'll eventually sell, but they've got to go. Some media, yeah. So that is what I'm doing for my, let's see, 622 lists. How do you find something when you sell something? Oh, that's no problem. I just look for it. I just look for it now. Um, I, my jewelry I have in, you know, I sell a lot of smalls, so that makes it really easy. I don't sell clothes, shoes, things like that, um, generally, unless it's awesome. But yeah, I have all my jewelry sorted and I've got certain shelves in my, I have a closet that's got shelving inside of it. And so it's all in there. Yeah. And then like I have certain tubs with my embroidery kit. So all the embroidery kits are in this particular tub. And so if I sell one of those, I just go get it out of the tub. I have tub, all the plush are in their own tubs. Yeah. They just, they're just organized. That's all. Um, I don't recommend this, but about a year ago, I had over 2,000 listings in my eBay store and ended everything and started over. You know, and I, I was like so tempted to do that, Nikki, too. <laughs> yeah, so, but, so that, those are my first two steps, right? Um, I have been going through a little bit of my unlisted stuff so far, but I'm going to do more of that with you guys and just start talking about, like, do I want to keep this to list it? And I know you you do a uh, list it, is it list it or ditch it? And it's like, I don't want to copy somebody else's idea. But I do want to kind of go through and share, like, these are some of the things I've got. I'm going to have to think about, do I want to move it? Or do I want to list it? Or re, um, do I want to move it to list it later? Do I want to put it in a garage sale? Like, what's my thought process of going through everything, you know? So... Those are my first steps. I know this is a quickie, but I, I wanted, I'm going to make it like a little mini series playlist or something um, for anybody else who ends up moving as a reseller that this is what I'm doing. Again, it may not be right for you, somebody else who's, um, this is, you know, their income, their total income. It may not work for you to, to start deactivating things and to stop listing. And, um, but I, fortunately I can do that and that's what I'm doing. So yeah. Uh, good to analyze. Yes. Oh, is that, oh, Nelly says, good to analyze inventory at least once a year. Do do a sale, then redonate what's left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Go ahead and do listed edition. I will give you full props for sure. I'm like, I don't want to, you know, people were, especially content creators like us, so they like, you know, you come up with ideas and then you like see somebody take your idea and you're like, well, I guess it's, you don't get too upset about it, but I guess it depends on the person. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing new in this world, that's for sure. Okay, so, yeah, and, and I used to do these, like, re, um, de-stash boxes, and they did really well, like, when I was getting out of everything but jewelry, and so uh, somebody else, I can't remember who, was saying, you ought to do some more de-stash boxes, and so I might. My only thing was, a lot of the stuff I have left is breakable, and I feel really, like, like, it'd be one thing if you're shipping out one. I'm not, I'm not super confident that I would... I don't know. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll figure out how I can do it. Because it may be, you know, another D-stash box. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, Nikki, let me know. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, let me know. That'd be fun. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Again, if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. Uh, my channel is all about learning new things so that we can create new opportunities for our business, for ourselves. You know, whether it's learning about something new that you can pick up to sell or learning about a new piece of jewelry or stone. Um, but that is, you know, my passion is learning and education and stuff. So 
yeah, let me know, you guys, what you think, what your tips would be. Leave a comment down below, and I'll be back with more of how we're doing with the move and next steps and all of that. <laughs> Caroline Celtic Trader says, oh, breakables, redonate. <laughs> I know. Okay, thanks so much, you guys, and I will talk to you soon.